another huge haul for you guys today. So I've been out and quite a bit lately. I've been going to Costco. I've been doing a bit of my regular shopping again, Costco and HomeSense and you know, the Marshalls and stuff, just needing things. It's been a long time since I've been out to those stores, over half a year, we know how it's been. But I was at Costco and the lineup was like all the way through from the front of the store to the back and I didn't even go during like a rush time or on the weekend, I won't go to Costco on the weekend. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Normally in my spare time, I'll find that I'm like editing my videos. Like if I have a video on the go and I'm in line, but I was like, I need a break too from sometimes just go, go, go. Either I'm at home working or I'm at, you know, at a store in a lineup doing my YouTube stuff. And um, I was like, I need to download like a fun new game. I used to play some gem game like years and years ago when iPhones kind of became popular. So I downloaded this game called Word Life and it's a crossword game. So basically you scroll your finger across and you form words and it kind of just activates some of your vocabulary. And if you don't know the word, you can actually click on it, which is pretty cool. And it gives you a definition. I thought that was kind of interesting and it, you can play it in different languages. So lately I find myself in line playing Word Life and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to get to the next level. I need to get to the next level. And um, I asked my daughter, I said, you can challenge me at home if you want. So she kind of downloaded it on her phone, but she hasn't really taken to it yet. Um, kids nowadays are busy with other things, right? So. I don't know if you've ever heard of Word Life, but if you follow the link in the description down below, you can, they're giving you 500 coins, a bonus hint. So if you're struggling with a word on the screen, sometimes I've gotten stuck. Like it's the simplest word and I'm stuck there going, what the heck? And then like the word is art or something so simple that you just kind of, your head is like trying to figure something else out. So they're giving you 500 coins. The game is absolutely free. You can download it on iOS or on Android. But um, what do you guys play any games on your phone that you find entertaining and sometimes that you actually want to get to the next level? It's kind of like, I don't know, it's weird. So I'm in line and I'm like, oh no, now my game is over and you have to go get checked out or whatever. But I've been having fun with it. Also, with COVID and the pandemic in our area, if you drop the kids off at any, I don't know, after school activity or anything like piano and stuff, I'm not allowed into the building anymore. So I have to wait outside. And you know, you're in the car for half an hour, sometimes completely, I don't know, I'm just always working and I'm like, I need a mental break too. So it kind of lets you unwind a little bit where you're just mindlessly doing something on your phone or you're not on social media or you're not reading you know, stuff all the time. So it's kind of just a mindless, but also gets your vocabulary going in your head and challenges you in, in a way. But anyways, just wanted to let you know if you have any fun games out there that you recommend, or if you want to check this game out, you can visit uh, the description down below and hit the link and download it and get some coins. Um, again, the game is completely free and it's quite fun. It's just something to unwind with. I also want to thank Word Life for sponsoring this video. Just wanted to let you know I have been having a lot of fun playing it. Thank you, Word Life. Anyways, I have a haul. My son's birthday is coming up. Uh, Halloween is just around this corner now, a couple days. And then uh, my son's birthday comes the following week. So I've been on the hunt for a few things just to make his birthday a little special during these crazy times. Uh, Costco doesn't even, I went to go look to order a cake for him because I know he likes the big giant slab cakes. That's why I actually was at Costco. I went to grab some things and I was gonna order his cake and they don't, um, they don't have cakes. Their whole bakery's empty. I was actually shocked. Has anyone, does anyone else's Costco have the same thing? I, I'm sure it's because of the pandemic and baking and you know, being um, near things, but I was a little bit shocked because they still have their baked goods like croissants and, and bagels. So I was just like, I wonder why the cakes are not a uh, thing, but I guess there's no gatherings, but I still like to have a cake for him. Uh, so I'll just make a cake, but I know that that's his favorite. He usually likes the big giant slabs from Costco, but um, I thought I better grab some things at Dollar Tree, of course. I have a huge haul here. I've kind of sorted it in a little bit of a theme. I have ha um, Christmas stuff and then some random things here. But I wanted to give you guys a head up because they're really actually nice. And um, it's the birthday balloon. So they're not helium inflatable, but you just blow them up. So I found this at the Dollar Tree and it's got 
silver and I think there was actually gold as well if I'm not mistaken I don't I, you know what I wouldn't have gravitated towards gold for him anyways and then there's the happy and I've got some matching balloons to go with it these are latex balloons which is not the best but they're iridescent confetti felt how I cannot wait to blow these up and see how they actually work but they look beautiful so they are filled with a bunch of confetti and I'm hoping this works and makes it a little bit pretty in the kitchen because I always decorate. I've shared with you guys on the channel lots of times how I decorate the night before for the kids. Sometimes I, I think I've even videoed me decorating the night before. I think I have posted that on the channel. And then uh, my daughter's reaction in the morning, I did like a whole beach theme with the palm trees and the flamingos. You know, the, all the inflatables that come out in the spring or summer for the, well, usually in the spring for the summer. Uh, line at Dollar Tree and they have the cutest stuff they have the ocean printed tablecloths and all that stuff so I hung it on the wall and the coconuts it was it was fun I and I blew lots of balloons and I think that was the one I videoed if not then it might have been the floral one I can't remember to be honest sometimes I film stuff and sometimes I don't and then I got the foil balloons for him he's gonna be my official teenager 13 oh my gosh so there's that these again are not helium they're just foil and you blow them up they come with a little uh, straw and you just fill them up yourself by blowing into them so yeah how are you guys are you all doing well during these times have you been oh um the one thing I did get him is the three and how gorgeous is this candle isn't that beautiful it's got like this matted silver on the top and then the glitter on the bottom I can't find the one I'm sure the one is probably the most popular um, child's first birthday one to go in front of every other number or after any number so it's uh, it's been a challenge but maybe what I'll do is I'll use something else like just a oh you know what I bought that tube one that is supposed to spark up maybe that could be the one the sparkling one and then this one he can blow out that would probably be cute so I'll do that and then um, I was asking you guys how you guys have been doing have you been going out a bit have you been has is everything back up and open around you I just discovered I just went to the mall for the first time and actually filmed Marshalls for you guys and I'll post that on uh, on the channel for you guys if you like those kinds of videos I'll keep posting them I went into Walmart for the first time recently and now I just went to Marshall so I walk into the mall not knowing I'm completely oblivious that my mall doesn't open till 11 o'clock thankfully I walked in there at like 10 50 um, and I walk in and the mall is like really quiet and everything like most of the stores were still locked up some of them had their doors open and I'm like, oh my gosh, the mall doesn't open till 11. And I think it closed at 7. So I didn't know that their hours were still uh, quite limited. I know months ago they were, but I had just not stepped in. And I haven't really needed to go in. But yeah, I got a bunch of really cute stuff for Christmas and for home decor. I think I'm going to share a haul with you guys separate, of course. Um, I've never done that on the channel, but I think it'd be fun to share with you guys what I found for Christmas. I found some really cute things. Um, and home decor as well. So, um the fuzzy fuzzy wings <laughs> i now have this is all the thrifty grandma's fault sandy um i haven't actually seen her in some time i have to reach out to her somehow i did message her but she hasn't responded i hope she's doing well but she got me as i pet my furry wings <laughs> she has I love these when I first saw them. I truly did. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I wish that the glitter would show up on screen for you guys. And I have never been able to unsee what she has made me see with these things afterwards. But it's entirely, you know, you have to look past it. And if you can't, that's on you. So I did buy the pink ones and I shared them with you guys, but I couldn't pass up these white ones I know I know but they are cute and they're actually quite beautifully done it's just if if you can see past what I you know been informed of being reminded of then uh, they are super cute I got a little tr uh, red truck oh my gosh I finally caved I'm so bad the red truck and the gnomes they've just entered my heart and here I am going like I don't know what I'm gonna do I think in the basement I have a lot of rustic and traditional decor so I might have to like incorporate my red truck stuff and my gnomes my gnomes can still go with my more flocked 
mm, winter wonderlandish. Uh, but my red truck wouldn't, it would clash, I think, with my flock theme. I have different th themes throughout the house. So I hope that this year I've inspired filming. Um, decorating is quite the challenge because you need to move your camera around quite a bit when you're doing those kinds of videos. But I like to decorate for Christmas. I mean, I go all out. You should see sometimes when I think I have posted to the channel like literally it looks like I grew a tree farm in my house when I first bring out my trees like I have I think over 20 trees it's quite embarrassing um, major big ones I think I have seven and I've lost track I think eight and then smaller smaller four to six a uh, four to maybe five feet three to five feet I'd say I think I have 13 plus I, I'm curious I have to count them but over the years they my collection of trees has grown. I love to have lights, little white lights in the house. I just find it super calming and I love to do the garland and I like to have white lights on my banister. So if you would like to see me decorating different parts of the house, I'd be happy to. I think I've shared how I decorate the basement. I've shared how I decorate... No, I don't know if I... Oh, I have shared how I've decorated the living room. No, the dining room, but never the great room or the living room. So anyways, maybe I'll film, take my time this year. Um, and actually set up some cameras and share with you guys how I'm going to do things but I think I'm gonna I've fallen for the red truck theme and I actually as soon as I saw this at Dollar Tree I thought it was perfect but you can paint it and distress it and make it a little deeper red if you're not feeling this red or the green you can you know paint it or you can even spray paint it white if it meet, meets your decor a little bit differently or blue I know that some like the more um, that traditional, not traditional, but it's like a vintage blue truck. Anyways, I just thought it would be really cool even if I disconnected this from the the little um, candle holder and then put this on a piece of wood or something because it's metal. So that's the nice, you can even reverse it. Oh no, you can't because it says Noel on it. But yeah, anyways, I'm going on about red trucks. Are you guys into the red trucks or the, the gnomes, the cute gnomes that are out there? Speaking of which, I hear that there's a 14 inch gnome at Dollar Tree with little feet and little arms. Well, um, the one I have has little arms, but it doesn't have little feet, 14 inches tall. By the way, I broke this in my car. Yeah, I was a little bit disappointed. Thankfully, I'm a crafter and I can use E6000 to glue it back together. But yeah, just be careful when you're putting pressure on it that you don't put something else on top of your candy cane because they will snap really quickly as I've encountered here. So there's that. I purchased a bunch of beautiful signs that I shared with you guys in a previous haul. A couple hauls actually, I think I broke them up. But I find, I, I purchased the snowman one. There is a Santa one, I don't think I purchased the Santa one. Or if I, no, I don't think so. I think I got the snowman one. And it's not because I love the snowman. It's just I actually really like the size of this board. It's much larger than these ones here. So if I have an idea, I'd like to transform the back of them. This wouldn't go outside because it wouldn't hold within, like in our weather and our elements here are really quite windy and rainy and snowy. So this would just completely it would just become all warped and deformed and it wouldn't look very nice you know after one day of being exposed to the elements out there by the way this one's really pretty because it's got like the vintage snowman but still I think I would use these this has a cute little a snowflake that you can repurpose and it's it's a really nice hard the MDF I think this is called compressed cardboard stuff this is all glittery and if you don't like the fallout just take a can of, of hairspray and spray it on top it will keep down the um, the glitter from falling out that goes for anything from Dollar Tree that has quite you know the glitter situation going on isn't this cute too they have this one with the Santa and I forget the other one that they had but you can transform this as well into like a real cute little sleigh or some sort of setup with your gnomes on top I really want to work with it because I have a, a bigger gnome that I purchased and um, I want to I want to see if I can sit it on top. I've made the little gnomes one year with the little Santa. Uh, I think it was a sled. Yeah, the sled from the Dollar Tree. And I put Papa Gnome, Papa gnome pulling 
baby gnome on the sled. I love them. They're so cute. I actually have them in a drawer all year round because they make, they're, I love gnomes for some reason. They're just like these puffy little, I don't know, so cute with no eyes, right? They're just their little nose and they're, I was petting my gnome and my dog was getting jealous of me. Oh my gosh. So I brought home the gnome that I purchased at, it was at Home Sense, I think. And um, I was fixing his little fur. Actually, I think I even have one little one from the Dollar Tree. Did I not fix the lighting? Sorry about that. So the gnome has a little beard, right? So I was like, he was sitting on the, um, on my side hutch in the kitchen and I was like fixing his fur furry little beard and then I, I kind of like pulled some of his little I was pulling some of his little um his little beard this one's from the Dollar Tree isn't it freaking cute and so then I was like oh I'll give him like a little mustache and I was just playing with him and my bear he got so jealous he was like grr, grr, like grumbling at me down below because he's like either I want that or you're not paying attention to me why are you paying attention to that little creature critter or creature or whatever sitting there so he was so confused so then I pulled the little gnome down and well he's quite big and I showed him and I'm like it's, it's your silly it's not real it's just the stuffy and he was like oh I want to play with it I want to play with it he was trying to get at it I said no he's my little gnome but they are like magical almost right they make you look at them or maybe like it freaks you out. It's one or the other, either it freaks you out or there's like this magical whimsical thing about them where I look at them and I'm like, you just like, you just come to life at one moment or another or something and hop around my house, but they're just so cute. So anyways, there's, um, maybe what I'll do is instead of uh, the elf on the shelf, I'll do the gnome on the shelf for the kids to find or something. How cute would that be instead? I don't we have an elf on the shelf from once the kids were little and stuff and I was never been a big big thing with that but it kind of is like creepy looking and stuff I find the gnome is cuter I'm gonna do a gnome on the shelf all right loot bags some of you were suggesting some really fantastic ideas for my Halloween candy handout I have the pitchforks that are three like the devil pitchforks and I'm gonna have to do some sort of social distancing thing out on my yard and some of you were suggesting having these which was a fantastic idea these loop holding with the candy in them I know these are Chris Christmas so I'm gonna see if I can even attach just even I might even I love these for little paper crafts but I never need the handles so I thought maybe I'll take these just even one per bag or something like that for the Halloween treat bags and figure out a way. I know some of you had suggested, I appreciate all the suggestions you guys were giving me. Some were saying to um, attach them with like ribbon or um, a hot glue. I've been trying to think of ways so that the kids can just take it and not leave or touch anything and leave behind something for another child to touch. I like just want them to take their things and go. Hopefully they're all wearing like their little mitts and stuff too, but I have to get that um, sorted out like stat because this is crazy. Uh, yeah, so that's this little thing here. Uh, but these are beautiful. Chris, these are beautiful for Christmas. And look at the truck on them. Aren't they gorgeous? Gorgeous print. Like Dollar Tree really has stepped up their game in the last couple of years. I've noticed like some wonderful, wonderful things. If you're looking for Christmas gifts, I think I've shared with you guys how I've done the little gift basket box. I haven't put the tutorial together, but I just kind of simply shared it with you guys here um, when I'm doing hauls. Just some wonderful things. Oh, I bought another pack of Kleenex because I've been donating these to the school. This is an eight pack. And I just like that they're individually packaged. I used to donate big boxes of Kleenex to the school, to the classroom, but because of COVID, I think that this is a better, safer way for the child or for the teacher to hand out Kleenex so they're not sharing box things. Then I got some principal, oh, principal, paintable ornaments. There's a snowflake. There's two of each, the Santa and the, the little, um, what is it called? The little stocking. By the way, has your store received their stockings already this year? Some stores are already getting them and they have gorgeous uh, red with the white fur and a letter, the monogram. Isn't that wonderful? And they're big. So if you're seeing them, let me know. Oh, I did, I bought two of the snowman. See, I figured when I see things, sometimes I just, I have to buy it. Otherwise, when I go back, I never see it again. And I've been learning my lesson lately. Things are flying off 
the shelf at Dollar Tree, like no joke, flying off the shelf. I think I've known, they just looked at us like my water, uh, my coffee. And uh, isn't he so cute? Look at his little, his little nose, and his little beard and his little feet, and little hands. So he's from uh, Walmart. He or she. And it has little cutes trim for, for the lighting. Yeah, so I bought that one at Walmart recently and it's a super, super cute no mug. My daughter was like, oh my gosh, I love it. I said, I know, I love it too. I love having my coffee or tea and it's just so cute. Uh, super loopers. So I mentioned this in a few of my shop with me's when I go through and I'm sharing with you guys. These are 15 plus dollars at Mastermind Toys. I don't know if you have access to Mastermind Toys, but this is a, a fantastic deal. So basically, the child just plays with the rings and they like loop them back and forth on their arms and do tricks with them. Just keeps them entertained and busy for a few minutes. Trust me, they don't play for things nowadays for very long, it seems. Okay, so Merry Christmas. Another one of these ornament transformation balls. I need to get my butt in gear and start working on some of these transformations, but this these are selling fast. So if you want to do a transformation with a circle of some sort and then put a bow, please pick it up now because these are going to go, go, go. I'm telling you, I walk into a store one day. If I go back two or three days later, the shelves are cleared out. The same with this red truck. I'm lucky if I find these again. These, if you if you need one you can use the back you can transform it paint it a different color you can use two I will link J money's I think I've talked to you guys about that before J money DIY she's done the cutest little truck planter box using these from the Dollar Tree and I think popsicle sticks or uh, wooden sticks of some sort to make a box I uh, I love her ideas her creativity, she does really different DIYs than I do. So if you guys are looking for more innovative stuff, I'm more of a crafter. She's more of like an innovator. Uh, check her channel out. She comes up with the neatest ideas from Dollar Tree. Uh, using Dollar Tree material and recreates things. It's pretty It's pretty creative. So these little my, mouse, mice, mouse traps. I actually am going to be super careful because I don't really know how these things work. And I would never want to hurt myself. I've never used one in my life and I would never I would never use one to catch a mouse. I just I don't know. I just can't. I've rescued a mouse before but I can't kill it. Uh although I threatened its life. <laughs> I did. I threatened its life. I said if you don't let me catch you, I'm going to kill you. Um I don't want a mouse in my house. So, we had a little situation um which was oh my gosh, almost a blessing in disguise that it happened the way it did. My garage door has like a weather stripping along the bottom and there was a chunk of the weather stripping removed and it had just kind of like fallen off. And I'm like, I told my husband, I said, we need to get this fixed stat because if there's any little critters living outside or in the garage or whatever, and they decide to creep up along the steps and get to the little thing got into the house and bear immediately notified us thank goodness but it like ran super scurried through the house thank goodness the timing was that otherwise we wouldn't even know we had a mouse in the house because this thing would be living with us and then more would be living with us so i rob was in a panic situation because i wasn't home so he says this mouse came into the into the house from the garage and bear had been on its tail the whole time and uh, I had just come in from grocery, this was months ago. I had come in home, I was coming home with grocery shopping and my husband has all his music stuff, his amplifier, amplifier, amplif amplifiers, his music like carrying cases for his guitar. He had blocked off, cause our house is open concept pretty much, like there's no doors to close any of the major rooms. So other than the bedrooms and the office, but if you, or in the mudroom and the bathroom, of course, but if you go into the living room, kitchen, wherever, you're pretty much door free. Now, the thing is, it doesn't even matter if the doors were closed because I'm sure the, the mice or mouse, the mouse, there was not mice, there was one mouse, would definitely get under a door. But we were, he was so freaked out that it would end up in our bedroom. 
So he had like all these boxes and amplifiers and everything, but some of his amplifiers actually have like tiny little legs. So the mouse would get under it and bear would be on it. And like, then the mouse would like hide and then bear is like trying to catch it. I come in and I'm like, oh, like I come in with the groceries. I clearly I hadn't gotten his text. And he is, I'm like, oh, he's rearranging all his music stuff. Like, I don't have any idea what he was doing. I'm like, oh, he's setting up music situation in like the great room. Maybe the guys are coming to jam up here. I have no idea what went through my head. I was just like, oh. So I'm like, oh, hey, and he's got his camera out and he's filming the whole situation. He is filming the dog chasing the mouse. And I'm like, are you kidding me? You're filming it? You should be catching it. And this was before he had to go to the Raptors game. The kids are about coming home from school. There's a mouse in my house and my husband is leaving to Toronto. And I'm like, I'm like getting the tools. I'm like bucket thing, peanut butter. Like we're going to catch this mouse. I have like a tray thing that I'm going to be turning upside down to catch it. So I like, first I was like, okay, we're going to catch it. And we're all, I'm all being all calm. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, it was tiny, but I was like, Oh, if you don't let me catch you, I'm going to kill you. And I started threatening it and my kids are coming in and my daughter hears me and she's like, mom's going to kill the mouse. So she starts crying and she's such an animal activist, I swear. So she won't even let me ever kill a fly or a bug or a spider. We don't ever kill things anyways. We always try to get them out of the house. Spiders, I know flies, um, my husband doesn't kill them. But I started threatening this little thing. Anyways. The story ends well. I caught the mouse alive. The thing was teeny tiny. I mean, it was a field mouse. We do live amongst farmland, so it definitely came from like the fields. And we see mice all the time outside. So I um I caught the little mouse and then I'm like, oh Rob's like, well, I'm gonna put it outside. I'm like, oh heck no, we're not. This thing, I don't want it to ever smell its track back into our house. So I got in my car with this mouse in a pail. And I drove it like eight kilometers from home. And off I went and I put it out onto the field, to this new field and it could live. I'm so sorry, little mouse, that I took you away from your family. But I'm like, don't you dare bring your family into my house. Um, I just didn't want anything to do with that. Where was I going? So anyways, I got really freaked out and I'm like, what if there's more mice? And what if they come into our house? Like if they're in, living in our house and all this stuff. Like I was really, really, it was messing with my head. So I wouldn't, I would never bought, I'm going off on a tangent. I would have never bought my mice like these. I don't think I could pick it up after. So anyways, I bought, I went immediately to uh, get the door trim thing fixed. So I went to Home Depot right away. I got, uh, my husband bought like a new panel thing that slides onto the track of the door. And then... I bought live traps. I don't know if they work. I don't know if anyone, I've never caught a mouse. There's never been a mouse in my live traps. And I put them all in the garage and set them all up because I don't want mice in my garage, but I also don't want them thinking they can get into the house. However, just last week I got freaked out because a chipmunk was in my garage. So clear, we have a bunch of chipmunks that live around on the property line. And Rob probably opened the side garage door to take out the recycling or whatever he's doing. And the chipmunk, instead of running into the tall grasses that he normally runs off and scurries to, he probably got scared and ran into the opening, which was the garage side door, like an actual, you know, four foot wide door, not a garage bay. So I come out into the garage and there's a chipmunk sitting on a box near the window overlooking the garage. He probably was like, what the heck? How do I get out of here? So I opened all the garage bays. I left them open for like six hours and I'm hoping the little chipmunk was smart enough to go out and move on with his little life. I haven't seen anything sitting in my garage. I haven't seen him hanging around since, but geez, rodents are like, I love chipmunks. Don't get me wrong, but they feel like when they're in your space, they feel like a rodent. They don't, look cute anymore trust me they do not look cute okay guys i'm like so sorry i'm going off on this big chattering lately i've been just a chatterbox with you guys it's like i probably just need to share my haul and get on with my life because you guys come here for hauls hallmark has finally um started appearing at dollar tree if you guys 
follow my group, the Facebook group, I shared with you guys the camper and the truck wrapping paper is super cute. And this is a Hallmark, Expressions Hallmark gift wrap. I love that it has cutting lines on the inside. So not only do does it make it, it's nice and thick paper, it makes it easy for following, keeping your cuts nice and straight, either if you're using a cutter, a paper cutter or trimmer, you know, those things that just glide through the paper for using scissors. It's fantastic. I bought this because it just, it's kind of like got this rustic feel. I really like it. It has these beautiful ornament, like ornaments on it, and but they're rustic, traditional. And then, um, and then this one says here, it says, uh, Mary, Noel, uh, wonder it has some like cute words happy yeah so it's really pretty and look it's Hallmark like Hallmark Expressions makes this paper isn't that pretty cool Hallmark Expressions is probably like is it a different umbrella of Hallmark I never really understood that oh by the way I was talking to you guys about all these mouse traps what I'm gonna do is use the wood to end my story there oh my gosh I went off on a tangent about most mice didn't I so I uh, plan to use that for, for craft there we go the aroma diffuser water free diffusing oh my gosh I was so excited when I found this I didn't think I was gonna find it because you guys were all finding it and I'm like oh I'm gonna miss it somehow because I go into Dollar Tree too much that you know I'm gonna walk in and out not have it and then some then it's gonna get put out when I'm not there right so I was speaking to Annie which I ran into at the Dollar Tree and she was going to make this as her the little boxes and stuff as her uh, table setting uh, name like the name what do you call that? I forget there's a name for it when you have like the table settings and you put your name tag on a plate. I, when I saw it first being found at Dollar Trees, I immediately wanted it for my vehicle. I was like, oh my gosh, water-free diffuser. It comes with two little, it comes with instructions and it comes with, you just have to put your own batteries. And then it comes, you put four or six drops of the essential oil to the pad that you choose. And I have so many essential oils because I absolutely love Simply. I think it's Simply Earth uh, essential oils. I get a lot from them. And I love Sage as well. But yeah, I um, it comes with two little pads. So super, like, amazing. It has an on and off switch. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how this works. Now, it's kind of interesting because it doesn't have... This is not an escape. Like my regular diffusers have an escape here. It just looks like it's it, the escape is on the side here. So I'm curious to see how this works. Has anyone tried it at all? Does it have a nice throw? I think it's gonna be wonderful for my car. I like I like to have um, I always like to have essential oils on a little diffuser pad that goes. I have I have a little car freshener that plugs into my vents. I was super excited to have that. Okay, I'll continue because my haul, I have quite a few things here. So let's get wrapping up here. LED unfinished wood light. Isn't this beautiful? It's a little lantern made of wood so you can stain it. And he already has the tea light built in there. They had this pattern and they had one with like a floral. But I like, the, I like this little, the lantern style. This goes with all my other things that I have from Michael's actually. And I was really happy to find that. I bought, I caved and bought this little Christmas tree. It's so pretty and perfect and it has a little wood stem and it has all this little white flocking frost right on the tip dollar tree is honestly they're just they're doing so such nice things lately i'm so happy with them i also bought a phone i bought hot foam half balls there are smaller ones so the packages will have more and then there are these ones that have the larger half balls and I have an idea for it so I'm looking forward to playing with that. I needed some more paint brushes. I can never have too many of these because I'm terrible. I often play with my Mod Podge. I'm playing with Mod Podge and I'll walk away from it and then of course when I come back my um, sponge is completely dried out. Um, wood clothespins, a bow scrap, bow scrunchie. I just like this because it matches my blue decor in my um, great room, and I'm thinking I can repurpose it into something else. Oh, be careful with these little trucks, and they're very, very cute. And it comes, so it does come with the little Christmas tree. You'll see that it's separated um, often in the box. Look at this, isn't that perfect? 
This is so freaking cute. Look at the little wheels. How amazing. Uh, and it even has like little gla uh, pretend glass windows. It's made of plastic, but yeah, and it has ha Merry Christmas on the on the front. Although the cri Merry Christmas is kind of a weird writing, but it has a little tree and it has a little star. They do come together, so just pay attention when you're looking through the boxes. They have a little farmhouse barn, and they have this, and this often has disconnected. All you have to do is re-glue it. I'm not a huge tinsel lover. I have never been a tinsel lover. I've never put tinsel on my Christmas trees. I just, I'm not a fan of tinsel. However, I couldn't leave, I could not leave this little guy behind. And this one too, but I'm gonna just, I'm gonna take this apart and then repurpose it somehow. But this one's, just a tree and they had uh, different sizes they had this the small like they had mini uh, medium I guess in between maybe up to half the size and then they had this bigger one a couple more things and then I'm about finished so I talked to you in my last video about the tin that, uh, tins that I got I got two matching tins in this exact same size however they had the little red uh, truck on the top which is so cute and I love it but I think I prefer like I think the North Pole tree farm is really cute I love the prints on the sides here too like the little red truck but I actually think I prefer the camper prints on the other one so I'm gonna just swap off the lids and do something maybe for for like a little staging or something on the side I'm not sure entirely yet or maybe I'll just do like one of each somehow um, so that both of them are kind of on showcase along with the North Pole tree farm. I think that it, this is such a beautiful tin. They really did a nice job. I also purchased, oh, I bought two of the snowman and two of these. So these are awesome for doing DIYs. And then I actually purchased one of the wood panels. These are going to go really fast as well because you can do whatever you'd like. You can Mod Podge, you can put little trees in here, stage stuff, put snow, um, you know, you can write something cute and then have like little trees staged here and the little, oh, you know the little camper and the little truck? That would be really darling too. The, you know what I'm talking about? The mini decor pieces, they're plastic from the Dollar Tree that are for the mini village, but it has the little red truck or the little camper. You can stage it in here, sit it on the inside lip with a little Christmas tree. There's so many ideas you can do with that and make it like a little window scene. Oh, I purchased, uh, when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, they're back, white cheddar. My daughter loves this on her popcorn, and this is going to cost me $3.99 at my local grocery store. Colonel's White Cheddar Popcorn Seasoning. So that's a really good find. I purchased the Melt Away Bath Candies, just one more package. I think I'm going to keep these for myself. I have enough for the little gift packages I'm putting together, but there's this one. And then there's the Silver Wire LED lights. You can never have too many at Christmas time. I love little white lights around my house I truly do and la oh no I have a couple more things and last but not least this is not specifically the one I was hoping to find but it is super cute because it's got like this real red truck print I don't think it's a drawing right yeah no it's a real picture of a red truck and then on the back is Santa's uh belt which is cute because it matches the pillow that I made last year I think I made a Santa pillow or the year before. I use it every year anyways for decor. But I think I made it a couple years ago um, using one of the, do you know the chair cover backs? Anyways, I'll link them down below if you wanna take a look at some of those DIYs. And this kind of matches that idea. So somehow I'll have to incorporate that with my pillow um, somewhere in the staging of Christmas decor around the house. And then to talk to you guys a little bit about this liquid gel toilet bowl cleaner. I really, really like it. I highly recommend you feel around to make sure that the one you're grabbing is a little more gel feel than uh, liquid because some of them I have purchased and they've been a little bit more runny than others, which I find really weird because you'd think the consistency would be the same pouring out from wherever it's coming from. I have noticed they know they dropped the word wizard. They no longer have the wizard on here. It's a darker blue at some of the Dollar Trees now. However, it's the same product on the back, same thing distributed by the same company made in Turkey, which I find really odd. So I don't know what's happened there, but something has gone wonky. Uh, just make sure that whatever you're purchasing is liquid. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Definitely take a look uh, down in my description below for any links to DIYs, I'll share a bunch of Christmas things with you guys. And also if you want to play Word Life, 
follow the link down below you'll get 500 extra coins and spend some time relaxing maybe on the couch or when you're in line somewhere waiting to buy things dollar tree hasn't had too many lines but i have found that other places marshall's home sense costco i've been waiting you know socially distanced of course but waiting in line for quite some time so it just keeps you busy sometimes if you don't feel like scrolling through something different like social media or whatever anyways until next time everyone i hope you have a wonderful day bye for now Summer is ended, the leaves are turned